So I guess would it be fair that it's reinvigorated your, your love for the game a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I said it before I went away to the World Cup. I've, I've, I've loved my rugby this year. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed the season with the Brumbies and then getting an opportunity to represent Australia and play for the Wallabies. Um, that, that's all awesome. great. I guess yeah, you know, you've uh, you've got that side of things, and but then overall a pretty disappointing end to you know, what we hoped was going to be a, a great World Cup for us. You got a few bruises and bandages there. How's your body holding up a few days after? Yeah, pretty good. It was um, oh, I guess for everyone, you know, it's a, it's a long year of rugby, um, and you look at Scott Fardy's head. I think he. I think he honestly had over 100 stitches in the Wallabies. You know, we were together for four months or whatever, over 100 stitches. So, um, yeah, everyone would be pretty pretty sore and looking forward to a, a bit of a break. Yes. A bit of talk too about um, a vision of you, of some saying that you stopped on Richard Gore's care. Have you just looked at that? Have you got any thoughts on that or response? I, I actually had no idea anything about that until the, um, the World Rugby Awards dinner. I was there just chatting to. Um, I think he was like one on the review committee for the games, and he chatted to me about it. And I had, I had no recollection of it, so it certainly wasn't intentional. And he said that they reviewed it, and um, their their view was the same in terms of a citing that it, it wasn't intentional. I don't know. I, was, I think I was just trying to get back into the defensive line. We were under a fair bit of pressure at that point. You mentioned you've been together for four months. Is it going to be a bit weird now, just having a bit of time to yourself? Yeah, I don't know. It'll, uh, I think everyone's looking forward to a break, but it's certainly a lot of fun. I mean, some great characters in the team, and, and we did spend a lot of, a lot of time together um, off the field as well, which, which was good. Michael Checker said that he hopes that about 85% of the team stays together for 2019. Is there that bond that has been established within the team that you want us all stay together? Yeah, it's something that you want to be part of. Um, I'm not sure. We'll have to. We'll have to wait and see. It, it was certainly. Um, I think the you know, the two two Frenchies definitely added a bit of uh, a different flavour and, and um, add a lot to the group. And it was great having Matt and Drew uh, there for the campaign. So um, yeah, who knows? You, you had an enormous response back here in Australia. I mean, um, in terms of your profile, it, it, did you feel that at all over there? Did you feel as though you know that you had become you know, so well known beyond rugby in Australia. I don't know. It's a, it was a bit. It's a bit strange at, at at a World Cup like that because we were so far from home. We were in a bit of a bubble. We, we um, I guess the way it worked out, we had you know, pretty much five knockout games in a row. So our focus every week was very much just on that game, and, and we didn't get too much time to sort of look around and see what was. Happening, but we we certainly knew that we had a huge amount of support in Australia, and um, that's fantastic. And I mean, to see young kids getting excited about rugby, and, 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 and you know, hopefully that'll benefit the grassroots, and that's that's what it's all about. Do you think? Um, I guess that the disappointment from from the weekend. Do you think that'll drive you next season uh, in Super Rugby? Um, yeah, I think you always you always use those disappointments to. To drive you, but I mean, at the moment, I think it's just sort of sitting, sitting back, getting, getting away from rugby, and yeah, having, having a bit of time to reflect on, on the last year and the, and the, and the tournament and everything that happened. And you mentioned the what the the French uh, French uh, Wallabies added. Do, do you think maybe the, the restrictions should be um, perhaps eased a little bit more so that uh, I guess more guys playing overseas could could join the, the, the Wallabies fold? I've got no idea. I mean, that's up to. That's up to the decision makers and 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 the, and the AIU. You know, I think just from a player's perspective, having two senior senior players like that who've um, you know, clearly shown that they've they've still got what it takes at international level, um, and obviously not playing for a few years have have a real hunger and I think they add a lot to the group. So I don't know. I think maybe they've got it right at the moment, but um, we'll wait and see. Well, that, that, that's up to Bill Pulver and the AIU.